Senator Jim Inhofe also weighed in on the strike at Vance Air Force Base in Enid. More than three quarters of the base's civilian workforce, nearly 800 workers, went on strike. The union workers could not reach an agreement with their employer, CSC Applied Technologies. Workers say the company is trying to cut benefits, including pension increases. We're here as long as it takes. You never know. Uh, the only people can tell you how soon it's going to end is uh, CSC. And CSC says that they are disappointed with the union's decision to strike and hopes the employees will accept their offer and return to work. Okay, thank you, John. No deal means no work. Almost half the workforce at Vance Air Force Base in Eden marched on the picket lines today. Union machinists failed to reach a contract agreement with CSC Applied Technologies last night, and they went on strike. 96% of the 770 workers rejected CSC's final offer. They say work rules and seniority are the biggest issues. U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe went to Enid Sunday to help with the compromise. He says union leaders outside the state made the task impossible. We sat down. We worked out things so that there would be no problem at all. The problem is not those who love Enid, Oklahoma, who love Vance. It's the out-of-state people. And that's what actually happened. Senator Inhofe thinks the strike is a very grave situation. He says the only alternative, if an agreement is not reached soon, is to stop contracting out the training and allow the military at the base to do it themselves.